Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem 6 from IMC 2023. Question is this, they gave us a matrix 2, 3, 2, 4 and they want us to see if we can transform that into the matrix 2, 4, 2, 3 given these operations. So you take one of the rows or columns and you multiply entry-wise by the other row or column or you divide. So rather than giving you the solution right away, I will go through the process by which I obtain the solution and then we'll write up the solution. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I started with this matrix and I played around to see what I can get. And eventually I wasn't really able to get 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 3. I didn't end up getting this matrix. Um, but I realized that sometimes some of the entries are multiples of 3. So I thought maybe the fact that one of the entries is a multiple of 3 is significance significant this is this idea is called idea of invariant so idea of invariant and I have a video on that so I'll, I'll post the link to that video in the description the idea of invariant tells you that under these operations we come up with some property that is fixed and that fixed property is called an invariant so if we can show that that sort of invariant never changes but this matrix has a different invariant than the original matrix it tells us that we can never go from the first matrix to the second matrix now typically for matrices one simple invariant would be the rank of the matrix or maybe the determinant of the matrix so i tried the determinant but the determinant doesn't really quite work because if you take a b c d and you multiply by c d the first row by c d you get to this and of course the determinants are not the same the determinant of this one is a d minus b c and the determinant of this one is a c d minus b c d and these are not the same i did notice that at the end the determinant is negated so this one four and three are swapped which means the determinant is negated so i still thought maybe it has something to do with the determinant so then I thought, okay, if I had, instead of A, C, um, and B, D, if I had A plus C and B plus D, then the determinant would not change. Because adding one row to another row or subtracting one row from another row doesn't change the determinant. So what operation changes multiplication to addition? And that was when I thought about logarithm. So here's the solution now. First of all, notice that all entries always remain positive. So all entries remain positive. Next, note that if you look at the matrix log of x, log of y, log of z, and log of t, when you add two of the rows, the determinant remains the same. The determinant of this is the same as determinant of log of xz, log of yt, log of z, log of t. So that's the same as multiplying the entries x and z and y and t. And it's also the same as determinant of log of x over z, log of y over t, log of z and log of t and it's obviously the same for every other row or column so this means this is an invariant so if i apply this operation determinant of log of the entries doesn't change now let's evaluate determinant of the log of entries of the original matrix so the original matrix was two three two four if you look at the first row it was two three and then 2, 4. Determinant of this is log of, log of 2 times log of 4 minus log of 2 log of 3. If I factor log of 2, I will get log of 4 minus log of 3, which is log 2 times log of 4 thirds. If you look at determinant of the matrix that we are eventually supposed to get to, it would be log 2, log 4, log 2 log 3 and this would be log 2 times log 3 minus log 4 so this is log 2 log 3 fourth and of course these two are not the same thing because this is a positive number 
and this is a negative number. So the invariant doesn't change after these operations, but we end up with a different number, which means we can never go from 2, 3, 2, 4 to 2, 4, 2, 3. And that brings me to the end of this video. If you like this video, I have a lot of videos like this on my channel. Make sure to check those out, and I will see you in the next video.